Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a makeup and mystery and today we're going to do a very unique and fun one because I want to talk about the beauty community as a whole and just the mystery of the beauty community. I saw Angelica Nikovis do a video something like this so it inspired this episode. So obviously there are a million freaking conspiracy theories within the beauty community enough for me to actually make a full beauty community conspiracies video but I didn't really I didn't really want to focus on the beauty community conspiracy theories as much as I wanted to focus on is the beauty community dying so this is something unique so I actually joined YouTube in 2019 um, when like the hype of everything like I actually joined it during the summer like in June or July of the Tati and James Charles drama. That's when I actually made my first video and posted it. But I, I had had a channel for a while because I knew I wanted to do this even before that. But that was during the hype of like like views and stuff like that. And I didn't do it for that. I didn't do it for that. But that was during the hype of like views and stuff. And the big creators were getting, you know, millions of views. Tati was getting something like 3 million views on her channel per video. And now, actually, if you go to Tati's channel, she gets, you know, she does still get decent views. She gets, like, 100,000 now. But she still has the millions of subscribers. And Tati is still a good YouTuber. I don't watch James Charles, so I can't tell you. She is still a good YouTuber. I love the fact that her and James are back together and they're doing stuff together. I love that they're happy. That makes me happy. But Angelica Nikovic posed that the question of, you know, these big YouTubers that were getting these big views back in the day aren't getting these big views anymore. And she's right. She is 100% right. And her theory is that because of the drama that was going down, people were just into the beauty community for the drama. They were just watching these creators for the drama. Which I can totally understand and see that because there was a conspiracy theory, which I'm pretty sure was proven, that YouTubers will actually start drama around the time of a new launch to buzz up hype for that product. But it was basically like people would, they would create the drama, they would create buzz and hype and build up around their product releases. What did you just throw down? Pick it up, babe. So they would sell out, and a lot of times it actually worked. So Angelica Nikovic poses that the people that left the beauty community weren't actual beauty lovers and they were just there for the drama because there are other communities that have drama. The beauty community is not the only one that had drama. I mean, we're in a very peaceful time right now. And I mean, we should be in a peaceful time because like the beauty community is supposed to be about makeup and love of makeup and love of makeup products. And in reality, it wasn't. And I've talked about it a little bit. I don't know if I ever posted the videos. But at the time, Jeffree Star was kind of like the head beauty guru at this time. And it was kind of like if you crossed him, he destroyed your career. And he really, 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 really did. I mean, it, to the point of like a lot of people like could not come back from it. So people were scared to kind of like talk up, speak up against him. But there were still some people who did. So, the people who were into the beauty community just for the drama have actually left because there's no drama, which is great. I honestly prefer the beauty community without the drama, but I think it's fun to look back and think about all the things that um, people started drama over. That is your blankie Jackson. I, I have Jackson in here. Kai was in here. He disappeared. So, it is unique to think about, like, where the beauty community would have gone if the drama had continued. I think that COVID really slowed it down quite a bit for the beauty community and really ushered in a change for the beauty community. Because think about it, you know. Brands that I never thought I would ever see going out of business, such as Makeup Geek and Becca, are no longer existent. I don't think BH Cosmetics is actually going to exist either because they filed for bankruptcy and then they were purchased by Makeup Revolution. And now if you go to 
the H Cosmetics on Ulta. Um, their products are slowly getting phased out, and I think they're actually on sale. And it sucks because I did want to try some of their products. But back to Angela Kanikovis. She actually posed, hopefully, um, Makeup Revolution will use BH Cosmetics' is formula because BH Cosmetics apparently has a really good eyeshadow formula. I don't think that the beauty can ever, community can ever, like, truly die. I think that there is always going to be diehard fans of makeup lovers. I think that there is always going to be new teenagers coming in who love makeup or they want to learn about makeup. So I don't think that there is a possibility for, you know, the beauty community to die. Because there's always going to be people who come in and love makeup. It's just going to be a little bit smaller than what we were used to just in case you guys are curious why kai stop dancing oh kai's in here now but i think that the beauty community is always going to be alive in its own way and it's always going to have the die hard makeup lovers and i think that this era with COVID was so unique and it's something that like we really have to remember because there were people who was making drama Jeffree Star just to make drama just to have something to talk about and look at it Jeffree Star used to sell out his products on his releases all the time but if you hadn't noticed the banana fetish collection which is the most recent collection he launched has not sold out the only thing I've seen him sell out since COVID in 2020 Two, or yeah 2020 is his skincare collection and that is because it was so hyped up for years I believe this is an essence sponge I will have to do a demo and review of it later I'm gonna have it until September which is Katie's birthday it's June 1st when I'm filming this so yay I'm happy to have a sponge back in my life because sponges make life a lot easier Literally, like, I need to pick up more sponges, but no, I don't. I picked up two sponges last month. I'm good. I don't need to pick up sponges. I need to test out and use the product that I have in my collection right now. I actually have products out already to put in my declutter. Like, when I declutter, I always end up recluttering. I always end up pulling out products that I want to use up and try. And I've already picked out some of those products that I want to use up and try. I did a really good job this after this past declutter using up or getting rid of products. And I'm very proud of myself that I want to continue that. And I'm also excited to have that little area in my iPod because I don't have a phone. Hi. <laughs> Where it has like my um, favorites, hate it, monthly disappointments, palette rankings. You know, I write down if I'm using a specific palette over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Oh, yeah, I definitely prefer these concealers um, set with a sponge together for sure. So I really want to know what you guys think about the beauty community itself in a, like in a whole. I've been stalking Trend Mood's page and she's only been making like three posts a day if that. And like to go from like we used to have like collection after collection after collection released from different brands to only like having a few. It's great for my wallet but it kind of like makes me wonder. It kind of makes me wonder. I am. I have been keeping an eye on the luxury brands, the Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona's, Charlotte Tilbury, and Danessa Marks brands. I have been keeping an eye on those. I think Kai might be getting tired because it kind of woke him up. Because Jackson was up and Jackson was crying and he needed mommy, so I kind of like, I got Kai off of me because Kai always falls asleep on top of me.
I am so sorry, you guys. I just had to avert disaster. I did not realize my brother had put his lunch bag on the ground where Kai could get a hold of it, and Kai got into it, and Kai got his um food out, and I had to fix that. Luckily, Kai didn't make a giant mess, which is not normal for him. He always makes a mess, but... Luckily, he didn't make a mess this time, and I took that as him telling mommy he was still hungry, and breakfast wasn't enough for him, so I got him some snackies. A really good product is this e.l.f. Brow Lift. I will be purchasing another one of these. Um, probably not this Ulta order, but my next Ulta order. I think I will purchase another one, because I really like it. I want you to try out the ColourPop one. I do have Anastasia's Brow Freeze. I want to try that. Elf also has a brow soap I want to try. I'm really getting into trying out other brow products because of this product. I love it so much. It was in my monthly favorites last month. It was in my monthly favorites last month, and um, it is a favorite just for the year. It's one of my favorite products that I've tried this year. I just want you guys to know that because I'm not, I don't think I'm going to continue like, I don't think I'm going to put the same products in my favorites every month. You want another cheese hug? So, um, so, uh, I just want you guys to know that that is a favorite. I have really been using ColourPop shadows and I have just been so in love with Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath's formulations. And it's just like, they are, it's ruining me. Because I used to love ColourPop and rave about ColourPop, and I don't think I like ColourPop's eyeshadow formula anymore. I don't know, I'm probably going to still get um, their eyeshadow palettes and keep testing them out because they're super inexpensive. But I don't know, guys. I mean, let me know what you guys think, because I'm just not happy right now with my ColourPop shadows. They aren't performing the way I know they used to perform. I mean, they used to perform on tier with Natasha Denona products. I don't know, though. Let me know what y'all think about ColourPop. Or maybe I'm just getting the very famous products. I don't know. I think ColourPop has a good formulation. It's just like... I've really been testing out Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath, and it's like, I love the Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath formulas. That's why I, I purchased so many products from Natasha Denona, and that's why I purchase from Pat McGrath every month. By the way, Pat McGrath has a sublime summer sale going on right now, at least the time I'm filming this. So taking advantage of that. So excited for that. Yes, Jackson. And this was my favorite palette out of the five that ColourPop had released, color story-wise, and it's actually quite boring. It doesn't have, like, any glitters. It only has one matte, one true matte, which is weird. I don't like the sequin shades. Kai, you can go in your window and say bye-bye, don't go bye-bye. I don't even know if our cousin is here, bebbies. Bye bye, yes. Bye bye, that's right. I mean, I like this eye look. I like that it, how, like, I like it. I mean, I just don't like using sequin shades. You like the dancing broccoli, I see. I just don't like the sequin shades in my crease. But I don't know how else to use those sequin shades. By the way, I'm so picking up Subversive. I used to look at Subversive and not like it. Like, the color story just kind of, like, seemed all over the place for me, but... Now 
now it seems very, very unique of a color story, and I, I want it to try it out for obviously my two looks one palette. Obviously, I would be putting it in my two looks one palette. I also think I'm gonna pull out some older Pat McGrath palettes that I have in my collection that I bought and literally stored them and never used them. What is the point of that? For real, what is the point of that? Why do why did I do that? Why did I do that? I used I do it all the time with so many like really nice palettes. And I need to stop doing that. So I think I'm gonna go into my collection in a few days and pull out some stuff. I did an oopsie, obviously. I was curling my lashes and Kai was bouncing on me and that happened. I have other videos I have to film today, so I'm gonna just work with it. Cause I have videos for the gaming channel I have to film today, which I should already have it established. At the time of filming this, I only just started it, and I'm currently working on videos for the gaming channel. So far, I have I know I'm gonna post one Sims 4 video a week. I think I'm gonna do a playthrough with Sin or Saints Row, the Saints Row series, and also Skyrim. I love having two boys. Literally have Kai always trying to push Jackson down. Jackson's always trying to take whatever Kai has. Kai's always trying to take whatever Jackson has. Gotta love having two boys. I raved so much about the Coral Glow one of these. These were London and Kate Moss, these old Contra kits. I told you guys I have old makeup that I literally got and hoarded. Now I'm going through and I'm using them. I'm trying to use up as much makeup as I can. Not for any particular reason, I just want to use it up. And I've raved about the Coral Glow one, but I do not like the Golden Sands one. I think that it is a different formula. How I love this blush palette from Laura B. I can do a Shop My Stash video if you guys are curious. Maybe I'll do the Shop My Stash after I declutter some products. Because I only want to do a Shop My Stash if it's products you guys can pick up. Obviously. And like I said, I am trying to go through makeup and use it up as much as I can. So I'm excited to declutter and declutter. That's kind of like what I do is I call it a declutter and then I reclutter and I get rid of products. You know, obviously I'm going through and showing you guys you know, what I'm using up every month, which I'm using up quite a bit a month. I really, I do multiple looks a day, so I really force myself to use up products. But it's also, I am bringing in so much product also every month. So I have thoughts on that Jeffree Star eyelash primer, and if you guys are curious, it's either going to be in, a, in this month's favorites, or it's going to be in this month's disappointment. Which one do you guys think it's going to be in? So in conclusion with this video, I do not think that the beauty community itself is dead. I do think that the drama of the beauty community is dead. Thank God, though. Because, I mean, like, they had mainstream, like news places covering the drama. It was embarrassing. Right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I know I fucked up there, but I don't I don't really care. Minus that, it looks pretty nice for a cool tone like look. It looks really nice. I did use the star palette with Natasha Nona to create it, as well as the ballot palette from Colourpop. Um, they worked great together, which I'm not surprised. Natasha Denona shadows just work so well with any other brand shadows. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I have more to film. So please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. All that social media great stuff really helps this channel out. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I don't even know if I'm filming. I don't think I'm going to film anymore for the beauty channel. I think I'm filming for the gaming channel today. Exciting. All right. I'm going to end it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget that 250 subscriber giveaway is going on. All right. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.